Hi everyone, this is Jenny Gasolovich doing an informative speech on pediatric cancer and how I believe it is not rare. Every day, 43 kids are diagnosed with cancer. Of those 43 kids, one of eight will not survive. It is the number one killer of death by disease in children. It's a very real, real thing, yet a lot of people want to look the other way and, um, you know, kind of ignore it. And the reasons for this, I believe, are it's scary. It's a very scary thing for many people to even dream about. Um, cancer in general is scary, let alone when you're thinking about it to ha happening to your child. It's sad. I mean, it's heart-wrenching. These little tiny people who haven't even gotten to enjoy life yet, you know, having to battle a life-threatening illness. And, you know, a lot of people that don't live it don't really particularly like to hear about it because it is depressing. And, um, you know, they also want to feel like it won't happen to them. I, I know from example that when my kiddo was first born, you know, before he was diagnosed, I truly believed that it would never happen to us ever. And when he was two and a half, it hit me like a ton of bricks falling on me that it actually, I mean, obviously it did happen and now we're living it all over again. Um, and a lot of times people feel, I don't know that they really feel this way, but it's like the opposite of knowledge is power. It's like if they ignore it and hide from it, then maybe it really wouldn't happen to them. Now, over time, we have come really far with childhood cancer and treatment. Um, they've made strides, and everybody can see how far they've come. Um, you know, historically, kids wouldn't make it you know, even <laughs> as long as they do now. Um, and I couldn't find the exact statistics for this, but um, how far we've come over time. But I can tell you that a lot of the cancers for children's now, um, the survival rate is above 80% for most of them. There are some lower than that. Um, there's still a lot of work to be done, though, even though we've come far with our treatments. I mean, living it, I can tell you, I've seen so much work that still needs to be done. Um, and I also work with hospital operations at Kaiser Permanente. And so I see how Kaiser does things and I see, and going to school for psychology, I also see areas that maybe could be improved. Um, one of the biggest ones is to make a more tolerated treatment that's suited for kids. A lot of these chemotherapy regimens that they put these kiddos on are just low, like they're what they're the same treatments that they put adults on. Um, maybe a little bit, you know, weight wise, so they lessen it. But these treatments are very brutal to these little people, and they are to big people too. But I just feel like maybe finding one that's just more suited for children. Again, they've come far, but I think that we have far to go. Also, making mental health and psychology a little bit more involved. Again, we've come really far, even from when my son was diagnosed the first time. Um, I've noticed the social worker is with us much more helping ease his anxiety and his fear, and they're there helping, you know. But I feel like it could be more even just like for the family in general or I just feel like there's room for improvement there. Also, finding the cause. I mean, actually, one of the nurses even said, don't find the cure, find the cause. Find the cause so these little people don't even have to go endure all this junk that they put into their body. Find out what happens. Why does these happen? Is it in the food we eat? Is it in the environment? I mean... I'm taking actually my other classes, environmental science, and we're studying how some foods can are linked to cancer and stuff. You know, finding out how we can limit that and maybe counteract it would be good. Um, 
the biggest thing for my speech is to say spreading awareness is huge. I mean, <laughs> pediatric cancers is one of the least funded. I don't, again, I couldn't, I wasn't able to find exact statistics of this, um, but I was, I do know that, you know, a lot of the other cancers, especially adult cancers, breast cancer, they're hugely funded. And just to get a little bit more funds for these kiddos would be huge to help them be able to do the research needed to do to make treatments better and to find out how to make this a little bit easier for these babes that have to go through all this. Um, the statistics I did found were on CureSearch.org, uh, Childhood Cancer Statistics, all, as well as Cancer.org, um, Cancer in Children, CureSearch.org, um, Number of Diagnoses, so there was two there, and also the CDC.gov Cancer. So thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed the speech, and I look forward to seeing all of your speeches, and God bless.